Hello fellow engineers and welcome to The Looker. Now this released a few days ago as of recording and it's a free to play puzzler with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam and it's based on another little game you might remember called The Witness. And that game was a beautiful well received puzzle game where you basically have to draw lines from a start point to an end point to solve puzzles. Now generally your line was confined within other lines so you had to go straight like that you couldn't just go out outside like for example this one you have to go around the corner to get to the end but all these line puzzles were set in a beautiful sort of landscape thing and there were boards placed around that you could solve but not only that the game was all like perception based so you had to line up like fountains to get certain puzzles to be able to draw and stuff like that it was it was very cool uh, but apparently this is a parody of it because although the witness was well received it was also a pain in the ass. So just like in The Witness, we've got like wires dotted about everywhere and they're connected to these puzzles. So if I solve this one, which I assume I just sort of follow the lines around. So like that, you can see this wire lights up. It goes to the next puzzle. So then we solve that one like that. Follow the wire to the next puzzle, which is around this corner. Oh, it's all the way up there. And I don't know how to get up there because I can't jump. And this staircase goes to nowhere. Blooming an architect designed that, I tell you. An architect for the visual aesthetic of a staircase. Because why would you want to get up there, stupid blooming architects? Right, anyway, perhaps to get up there, we've got to get through this gate. Now, this gate has one of these. So if we follow the wire back, it leads to this cubey thing. And this cube has wires coming from it. So let's try and solve those as well. Right, so one leads inside this turret and there's no stairs to get up there either. Well, next to the turret, there is another one. So I guess I may as well do this one. So the start is on the right. So we just draw that way. Nice. And then following this wire. Oh, it, go it goes into the chessboard. I'm not sure about that. But over here, I found there's a hint button. I can draw a line across that to get a hint. Now, I don't think I want to do that yet. I want to explore first. So what's up here? It's a door with a sign. Stop do not come in. Um, I sort of wonder, can I just like cross that out? No, I can't. Oh, it's very, it's very red. All right, let's graffiti this sign. <laughs> oh, what the hell? It opened. I was not expecting that. I just went mental because it was really bright. You're right, mate. What the hell is that? Is that S and E for start and end? So do I draw? Oh, I just slit his Oh no, it says behind you. Uh, oh, it's gone. <laughs> that was scary. I thought that night was going to be like on my ass. Oh, did you see that? Why do I have a gun now? What has happened to this game? <laughs> I was happy doing line puzzles. All right, what is down this hall? I've never liked libraries. They've always freaked me out a little bit. Oh, frig me, man. You bellend. <laughs> anyway, what have we got here? Oh, look, we've got start and end. Do I... Okay, I just shoot the target off. <laughs> that works. That works. Anyway, up here, we're high up. What do we have here? We've got some painting. We've got some fruit. We've got a nice view out there. And we've got sort of a clear one of these. I wonder, can I just like... If I draw a line from there over to there. <laughs> oh, he told me I did it wrong. He said try putting some more loops on it. Well, how about... Does that work for you, mate? That actually works. I solved it. <laughs> See, I'm an artist at heart. What's over here? Oh, we've got... Is that a TV remote? What if we draw a line? Okay, that was like an audio recording of some guy that was probably baked off his face talking nonsense. Interesting. Right, let's head out here. We're on the castle wall, finally. I wonder if we can get... We want to get over that side. Right, what have we got here? Start and end, as well as S and E. No, that didn't really work. Right, this one's given me the witness flashback. So I wonder if start goes to S, maybe? And then end goes to E. I think that's a note. What about that way around? Yes, oh, it was that way around. The gate opened. Right, so we've got an S and E there. Change places. And what if I did... What if I draw it back? All right, not sure what that's all about. So let's just color it in. That worked last time, right? Anyway, this looks like I can control the chess pieces down there. So do I have to do this like in order of how chess works? Because I think everything I'm doing is going to make a check. Because if I move this guy over to there, then he can just go boosh down to that. Oh, actually, I think that's the one. Because if I if I do that one to there, then he can't move anywhere without being done by either this guy or my horse. Yeah, so I think that's the one. I think I just got to do I got to do that, right? Uh, apparently, that's a no. Do I need to do all of them at once? Yes, all of them at once. So the horse moves. Oh, then that moves. Then that moves. You move up there. And then boosh, you're done, mate. You're dead. We won the game. I feel like I could have won that in one go, though. Anyway, hang on, that chessboard, it didn't turn the light on. Why didn't it turn the light on? What did I do wrong? Anyway, let's follow this cable. This goes up to the turret that we couldn't reach. Oh, it actually goes... 
it goes back down again. Interesting. Now, right, around here, we've got some cannons. We've also got a target. Uh, do I need to aim at a ship? I assume that's like that's like a pirate ship or something. So if I aim there and then say, boosh, yes. <laughs> sunk it all right and then i just use my perception i guess to go over that way so i can shoot you nice the cannon moves and boosh yes what a shot and there's one over that way oh this is quite fun see you later mate boosh and then there's one right in the distance so about there seems good and this cannon is gonna fire on that and that was the end of that oh there's one there's another boot there i missed that one all right you cheeky bugger eat some of this boosh all right so now i've sunk all the pirate ships now what do I do? <laughs> Unless, is that a ship there? I've just fired a shot. I don't know what it is, but eat some of that. Sorry if there's like random people on that island. All right, we've then got a door we can't get in. But if we head back where you pass the cannons, we can go downstairs. And along here, we've got a puzzle here. So do we just do start to end? I've done like the Zoro sign. Sweet. Okay, so that's this door unlocked. I sort of want to go over to this one. What is this? Oh man, this is proper witnessy. So from the start, I guess I can just go straight ahead. And then I'm looking for a way through. And I think it's just... No, there isn't one. There isn't a way through. Ah, oh, can I just... You silly game. Silly, silly game. I thought that was a bit complicated for early on. Anyway, that's just lit this one over there, which I assume is the same sort of thing. This, <laughs> this is proper taking the mick out of the witness. I love it. <laughs> so the witness would make you do like the actual line puzzles and you'd like for a hissy fit because you get it wrong at last minute um not gonna lie quite prefer these ones uh, although what what do we have here how do we do this one also does anyone else see two men touching tips there is that just me no i can't okay okay that's good that's good can i go outside the screen no what if i go left do i come out on the right no what if i do that that and a bit of that does that help what about this yeah don't know about that one i might just leave it for a little bit i really thought that would solve it you know but um <laughs> All right, I found a sort of gaming room with arcade machines and ice hockey. There's a wire that goes this way and it goes upstairs. Ah, oh, so that's what's up here. That's what's behind that door. So we've got to get over that side, I think, in order to get in there. Right, well, I'm stumped, so... You can do it. Really? <laughs> I want a better hint than that, me. I believe in you. This is all you. Yeah, uh, maybe, uh... Maybe you can't do it. Oh no, he's given Maybe up on me. You're weak. Maybe I'm weak. Maybe you're stupid. You should be embarrassed, but you keep crawling back like a mewling calf at my chafing teat. Pathetic. Right, screw you, man. I'm gonna go complete this puzzle. Right, I gotta get a <gasps> end. Stop. Oh, you cheeky blooming game. Right, so I just gotta draw along this. Can I go? All right, moves. Oh, so annoying. <laughs> All right, what's this one? This one, I think we do actually have to go in the lines. All right, so it looks like I think we just go up along this one. All right, there we go. This is unlocked now. What's in here? Hang on, there's no, there's no end. Where's the end? <laughs> All right, well, I guess we just brute force this. I did nothing. Oh, it beeped. What does beep mean? Oh, it gets louder. He's beeping. I don't know. I've either got to get to there or there or there. So as I draw this, he's saying beep and I'm getting closer. He said yes, but nothing happened. What do you mean beep? I'm here, you twat. What do you mean I'm so close? Oh, right. After lots of trial and error, I finally got that. Bloody, I, I'm not a fan of the beep system, mate. Not going to lie. Not the most clear thing in the world. Right, what do we do here? A bit of that, is it? Nice. All right, so now we've got two lights going to this thing. We just got to do this third one, which comes from over here. I've already got this one going down. So I just do whoop, whoop. Nice. Okay, I think that's everything. Yes, this has now unlocked a key puzzle. So from S to E, we've got the key. <gasps> and look, the box is opening. What's inside you? Oh, look, it's got an automatic spinning system. That's pretty nice engineering, that. Oh, we've got a kid's food menu. A chicken nuggy. What, is that a single chicken nugget? Anyway, we've got to help this crab dude get back to the ocean which is the end so we're gonna go down here along there down this bit around these bits then we're there nice and then over here i think this is just like a copy of the gate so if we do that sort of thing the bars disappear we're free all right so just a rock that way what is this direction there's a nice little beach down here but not a lot else so i'm guessing we're going in this which i can only assume is a hedge maze Great. Now, I have a theory to hedge mazes. I think if you always go left, like you win. It's just something that like hedge maze designers do. So we'll keep going left whenever we have the option to turn. So around here, left and then left and oh, 
Anyway, 10 minutes later, I think we're finally out. Oh, exactly where we went in. Aha, but look, I found something. It's like, it's sort of like a churchy thing. Restart. What does it mean? Don't know. Question is, can I go through that flower in the middle? Yes, I can. Right, so we got that. <gasps> we flipped the page. So what's a double greener? Can I go through that? I can. Nice. So do I have to get like all the icons on my journey like that? Yes. So if we make the slip not S, sort of. Oh, we failed. So do I do the spear first and then the star? Is that like alphabetical or something? Or I just don't cross streams. You don't want to cross streams. All right, I guess we'll find out now if it's something to do with the alphabet. Oh, it might be. It might be. Maybe it's the colors. So circle, whatever that is, whatever that is. Okay, that was right. There's only so many different ways of doing this, surely. Unless it wants me to like do an S. No. Like, what about something really annoying and doing like that one, then that one, and then the middle one. Oh, there you go. I'm so bad at drawing. All right, that's that one done. Oh, we're back to the start. All right, maybe that's the hedge maze completed. Not entirely sure. So what else have we got around here? Oh yeah, the arcade machines. It's called neck i can underline it i can overline it I can put it in a box oh i just i was just gonna color it all in and we've unlocked it all right so on this one when we draw can you see it's like it's actual blocks like we can't just we can't do curves or anything yeah, so i reckon something like this all right there you go we've completed it oh and it's kept it and do i have to oh i've got to draw around it okay i might have to restart this <laughs> I might very much have to restart this. Hang on. <laughs> restart, please. All right. Serves you right for trying to be funny, Matt. To be fair to myself, I was just trying to do it efficiently, but you know how it is. All right. I think the key is just to stay close to everything you've done. So like this one, we'll go back along there. I mean, is it worth going down? All right. So what about that? There we go. I definitely feel... Oh, balls. I definitely feel like this is the most sensible way of doing this. Seems to be working. Ah, stop. Ah, damn you right hand. All right, so for this one, I'm going to go over to here. I'm literally just going to stick to this. Who? Oh, right hand, you and me are going to fall out, son. All right, let's do the hard bit first, actually. I don't know what's hard. It's literally just a straight line. All right, so then down there. Nice. Okay, now the outside of this. Decent, right? Do I go left or right? I reckon left, actually. I'm going to go left. Victory! Nice. We completed this neck. Oh, and that's another... Oh, I... I was doing it the wrong direction. So now that's coloured in, which means potentially we can head up here. Aha, and this door is now open. All right, we've got a gaming set up in here. So do I do start down to game? No, Matt, stick to what you know. We do the S to the E. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, what is going on here? Have I got to do these fast? Am I like shooting? Oh, I am like shooting. Oh, no, I did do that one. Oh, I missed one. I missed one. My hand eye is not the best. Or did I miss one? I don't know. Oh, 300 points. That seems pretty good, right? Oh, God. You got to be quick on these. Freaking out. <sighs> oh, why is my hand eye so bad? No, damn you. All right, we only got 400 points. Oh, yes, I got one. No, no. Why am I so bad at these? Oh, sod this. All right, 425 points. Thankfully, the door opened. Ponytail, thanks a lot, Mac. I'm going to assume lots of people will probably understand that. I live a sheltered life, okay? I don't I don't get jokes like that. Hey, look, there's the maze ruin. Here's a house up the back. All right, what is this? We've got a golden box. It's covered in, like, bits of puzzle. Uh, hopefully, I can just do a bit of whop. Oh, that made a noise. Oh, something's happening to the roof. It's a jack-in-the-box. What is it? It's a total station. We're going to do some surveying finally. Some engineering surveying. This castle needs it. I'm worried that it could be settling. It's like surveyception. There's a survey within a survey. Don't say a mini one's going to come out of that. Oh, no. Oh, what is that? It's a laser. Where is it shooting? Over there. Oh, oh, it just... Now where are you looking? Oh, it's gone straight up to the sky. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's complete this one whilst we're here. I assume that just goes down like that. Oh, now we can use the staircase. There you go. I engineered it to make it work. What is this thing doing? It's like shooting all over the place. What is that? It's like an arm coming off the side of it. Oh, it's poking. It's poking the laser. Oh, has it just... I think it's just turned on that solar panel. That's got a red cable coming out of it now. Anyway, over to this door. We can do the... The old Zoro sign again. Guess unlocked. Oh, I'm back in this room with my minimalistic style strongest shape drawing. Okay. Ah, oh, so now we're up here. This is where the the ray was shining. So that has now gone to this thing. God knows how we're going to complete that. What else we got? Got like a globy thing. We got a telescope that looks at the sun. I'm not sure if that's sensible. Shall I have a little look through? Oh! oh. oh. Why did I do that? Oh. That actually hurt. 
Right, we've got another audio file. Right, and now to solve this, I probably should have worked out like what I meant to do, but I guess we're just going to brute force this. So I'll probably see you in like half an hour. We'll, we'll see how far we get. 3,000 years later. Right, and after about attempt 15, we're finally through the door. So what is, was it worth it? What's up the stairs? Uh, pretty nice view. And what is, what is it? Oh, look, there's an S there and there's an E there. So do I draw? Right, so from the S, we've got to stay on the grass. We basically can't go on this black path path so we can come down here we can go straight through the fountains and then i think we gotta stay like on the light stuff so we can go over this there's a bit of flower pot in the way along there onto the grass onto there over the leaf and do i go along this line no i don't oh i can go along this a pile of rubbish onto this wall and we've made it to the e and i've drawn a knob that's literally a knob the obelisk of knowledge the obelisk of knobbage more like i think the game wants me to draw a knob yes <laughs> Well, nice one, Bradley Lovell. Proper enjoyed that. That was like the witness, but fun. Oh yeah, really enjoyed that. If you also did, boost the like button. Sorry it's dark right now. The game closed on us. Anyway, peace, love, and the looker. That was awesome. Bye, guys.